Well, the fourth quarter for ING was another strong quarter, but I'm pleased with our performance in 2015 overall, actually. In 2015, we saw 22 billion of additional loans, credits to the economy, which is a growth of 4%, and that was funded through 25 billion of additional savings. Now, that growth and the results you have to see in light of this uh, low interest rate environment, as well as higher regulatory cost. So then it's a particular good performance. Now what I'm really happy with as well is the fact that we welcomed another 1.4 million new clients. And of those 550,000 new clients that chose us, ING, as their primary bank. Now that's important because when clients see us as their primary bank, we can actually get to know them much better and analyze their needs so that we can service them much better. Our purpose is to empower people to stay a step ahead in life and in business. In order to do so, we launch new services and innovate all the time. A new service that we launched in Poland is Moje ING. And Moje ING is actually an omni-channel platform through which the client can actually make a good analysis of its own personal financial situation and plan its own financials. It's a very good example of how we actually help clients to empower them to take their own financial decisions. It's also a very good example of how we collaborate in ING because that omni-channel platform was actually first launched in Spain. It's been very successfully uh, developed there and now we've copied it into Poland. Another area in which we invest a lot of money and through which we want to innovate is the area of payments. And just recently we launched a new payment app which is called TWIP. TWIP is the acronym for the way you pay. And we launched it both in Spain and in the Netherlands. Now through TWIP, you actually pay to your peers, uh, connected through your phone numbers. So you don't have to be an ING customer. Now since we launched it seven weeks ago, we have 215,000 registered users already. One of the most important external developments that we saw in the fourth quarter was actually the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris. During that conference, governments agreed to really combat climate change. Now, it is not up to governments only, in my view. We all have to take leadership on this one, individually, as well as collectively. In the private sector, working with the public sector, working with academics, working with tech companies, to really take on climate change. Now, for ING, that means that in the fourth quarter, we have decided to end all financings to new coal-fired power plants, as well as new thermal coal mines. We also decided to run all of our buildings globally on 100% renewable energy by 2020. And last but not least, we launched our first green bond and raised more than a billion to finance sustainable transitions in the economy.